Hello, it's Carrie, and today I'm going to make a fun card using the April Hedgehog Hollow Kit that features art impressions. This art impression stamp is so cute, and sometimes there are just some stamp sets that have all the elements you need to create the cutest scene. So I'm going to stamp this out using the Nuvo Hybrid ink that also came in the kit. And I love this ink because you can use it with Copics, you can use it with watercolor, you can use it with colored pencils and Gamsol, pretty much any medium that you want. And so it's so versatile. So today I'm going to use Copic markers to color in these cute little birds. And I actually got the inspiration from the packaging from Art Impressions. Art Impressions really has some great packaging with colored images and ideas for you, and it just makes it so easy. And so I am just going to quickly, they're so small. These images are tiny, so it's really quick to color in these birds. And so I'm just going to use a couple of different shades of blue, light blue. So now I'm just adding a little bit of shading here, but I really don't even know that it's necessary because they are so small. But I went ahead and added this BG10 just for a little bit of shadowing. And now I'm going to take the Y38 and color in the beaks. Now, this image, I wanted to tell you the, the birdhouse kit is exclusive to this Hedgehog Hollow April kit. You won't find this particular set anywhere else. It's only in the Hedgehog Hollow April kit. And so that is kind of neat that you can only get it here. And it is so much fun to color. Look at this birdhouse. I decided to color it in pastel colors today because I'm really feeling ready for spring over here. <laughs> and so I started out with that G40 and I'm gonna add a little shading with the G43. And this image is so easy to color and so easy to shade. It's such a delight to color. So I'm just going to add that shading and then I'll blend it out using the lighter G40. Just really simple to do. Now, if I were a bird, I would probably love to come to this birdhouse. It's so inviting, isn't it? Wouldn't you want to just come hang out and have a bird seed snack here? <laughs> so I thought I'd bring in a little purple for the roof. This is BV20. And I'm going to add some shading with the V22. So again, we're sticking with the spring colors here. You don't have to worry about coloring inside the actual bird holes there, the, the little doorways and windowways because when you cut it out, it will cut out those holes, which is really kind of cool. So you can have some of the birds peeking out from inside of the birdhouse if you want to. Really, really cute. So here's the shading on the roof. I also decided to color the door with the purple. And I was going to color the purchase too with the purple, but I wanted to bring in a little more variety. So I ended up not coloring the purchase with these purples. So now I am going to bring in the lighter colors. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to actually color in, use that darker color for the, the trim work on this house. What a cute birdhouse. I'd even like to build one of these birdhouses in real life. <laughs> so here we have E21 that we're gonna bring in and then I'll shade it with the E23. And this brings just kind of the wood element to the house. And I really think that with the shading on this color, it really does bring such uh, dimension here. This is where it really starts to pop, I think. And hopefully you can tell in that video that it's not so far away. So this is the E23. Now, if you don't like to watch coloring, you can obviously skip ahead. Sometimes I do really love to watch coloring in videos though. So I left this in for you, but here is where it really does start to add that dimension, I think, kind of fun. For the last color to color up the, those awnings, 
I thought I'd bring in some of the same yellows that I used on the bird on the little belly there. So I'm going to color the awnings with a Y21 and I'll shade it with a Y13. Just some simple shading because we're going to add some more detail later to these awnings. Such a cute house. Okay, so I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. I did cut out the birdhouse, the birds, and there are some dyes for flowers and for vines and leaves in this kit. It's awesome. It just comes with everything you need to build this scene. So I die cut the flowers with a pastel pink color and I'm bringing in Catherine Puller ink in party dress with a sponge dot or a finger dauber just to add some dimension. And then also to the leaves, I'm adding a darker shading on the leaves here as well. And that'll just bring more of a pop when we pull this whole card together. And actually at the end, I decided to die cut some more leaves for this card. So you'll see some more at the end. I added a couple more. So I thought I was going to use this purple striped paper that I had in my stash with an oval die cut also from my stash but I ended up using the turquoise. <laughs> and for some dimension, I took some inspiration from the Hedgehog Hollow wrapping and I embossed a polka dot to the background here. And I'm just gonna attach it using some liquid adhesive. This is my favorite liquid adhesive right now. It's the Nouveau Deluxe Liquid Adhesive. So I'm attaching that to the card base that also came in the kit. It's so awesome that they come with the card bases and papers and all kinds of things for you to use. I am going to pop up that oval piece here that I die cut using some 3M foam tape. And I'm actually getting close to the end of my 3M foam tape ginormous roll. You can see here, there's not much left. That's when I start getting a little nervous and I think, okay, it's time for me to order a new roll. <laughs> so I'm just going to finish attaching the foam tape. I'll cut a piece here and cut it into triangles to reinforce those corners. So when I attach it to the card, they're not going to sink in. So I'll remove that foam tape and just add it to the card. It's going to add that layer of dimension. In fact, when this card is done, there's so much dimension and layering that it really makes the card pop. So now I'm going to add two layers of 3M foam tape to the top of the birdhouse, one layer to the middle, and I'm gonna glue the bottom straight. But I just now realized, you guys, the doors, they open when you, when you die cut it. It's so cool. So I'll finish adding the foam tape here. And I decided that I needed to reinforce those little perches for the birds. And so I'm cutting tiny little strips of that same foam tape to reinforce those perches. I know sometimes as card makers, we do crazy little things for the sake of the card, but I think it was worth it. And now it is time to attach all the little birds and the flowers and so I am going to use the 3M foam tape to pop up these birds. Some of them I'm going to use double amounts of foam tape so they're a little bit higher on the card and some I'm just going to use one layer of foam tape. So I'm just kind of figuring out where I want all the birds to go. That one's going to go right inside the door there. <laughs> I love that. I love that the door is open and then I will arrange where all the flowers go as well. These flowers are perfect for layering, so I'm just gonna layer up a few of them here using liquid adhesive. You can also use the foam tape as well to give a little more dimension to those flowers. So I'll just put all of those together real quick. And now I'm going to figure out how I want to arrange the leaves, the vines, and all the flowers. And sometimes when I am doing this, I will take a picture with my phone so I can remember just how I had it placed. You can see I added a few more vines and leaves, just a little bit darker as well. And I'm going to use that 
Nouveau Glimmer Midas Touch Pen to add some, some glitter to the awnings and to the flowers. And for the final finishing touches, I'll use some Nouveau Crystal Drops in white for the centers of the flowers. I always like to start it off on another piece of paper so I make sure that I get all the air pockets out. And I'll just add some little dots to the centers of those flowers. Yellow would be really cute here too, but I only had the white on hand. And then I'm gonna add some orange marmalade in the jewel drops, which is kind of more of a translucent drop. I'm gonna add little polka dots to the awnings. So they have little orange polka dots on the yellow awnings, super cute. I know that it's hard to see. I'm gonna hold it up here closer so that you can take a look. I'm going to use one of the sentiments that came in the kit for the inside of the card. And it says, a little bird, birdie told me it was your birthday. So I'm using one of my favorite tricks because the front of the card is still wet. I cut down a piece of white paper to go on the inside and I cut it just a little smaller so there so that it, it fits inside the card with a little bit of a frame. And I don't know why I switched to the VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. I usually do like to stamp my sentiments with this, but I wanted to color up that little bird. So using the hybrid ink would have been a really smart idea. So I'm just going to attach that to the inside with a small tiny bead of the liquid adhesive and that will finish our card off for today. Such a cute card, lots of cute little birds and a little birdhouse and lots of dimension and glitter and Nouveau drops, really fun. So I hope you enjoyed this project today using the elements from the Hedgehog Hollow April Kit. For more information, please visit my blog and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up so I can continue to bring you fun projects like this one. Here are a few more videos that you might be interested in. Please consider subscribing to my channel as well. I would love to see you back here again. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a really great day. Bye-bye.